Hey, I'm Roger Bart. I'm playing Doc Brown in Back to the Future, the musical on the West End. And we are about to go back in time. Very nice shirt. Love that show. Terrifying. Don't know why I was wearing glasses. I could, I knew the words. And this was go most anywhere. It's it's thrilling to to do a song that is has meant so much to so many people. Disney knows what they're doing. They knew that they they needed to kind of come up with something that was much more um, life affirming and life positive. And the American Theater Wings Tony goes to Roger Bart. Wow. Well, good man, I don't think Charlie I've seen Brown. this for about, I don't know how many this years, 20. This is Mr. Bart's first Tony Award. Oh, uh, the funny thing's about this, watch this right here. That's Michael Mayer as the director. Okay, get up on stage, I think I do like a happy dance. And you know what that was? Um, Snoopy, um, if you ever see Snoopy, he dances with his paws out and he kind of tap dances and sticks his neck up. My left paw just went numb. I remember thinking that the key to doing the part was um, that the rest of the cast were my well-intentioned staff. That from Snoopy's perspective, uh, that's what his feeling was about all of them. What time is dinner? Should you be scratching me at this point? Stuff like that. So yeah, it was, uh, it was a gas, man. Hello, the this is part two of my career, right here, and the discovery of lip glass, which was weird because every once in a while I'd open my mouth and there'd be like a big sticky thing that goes like this in between. And they also put me in bangs for continuity. And then I put in this cheese ball move right here, which I couldn't believe they kept because we did this obviously about 15 times, this one. oh. The injury. We felt that we could get away with anything um, if we just were the healthiest and most loving couple. They were very nervous about the scene because it, uh, of the time, I guess, and it required fully going there to have fun and celebrate and send up these people. I love this. It's like a little adventure. I've never fired a gun before. <laughs> this night it was cold you that night. Really? Oh. Always remember your first time. Kelly, oh, I hope you're running the bullets. You know, <laughs> Brie, I... A lot of sex jokes in that I can't last... I tell you what these last few days have meant to me. Oh. Finally getting out of the house and trying new things. Oh, Brie. Well, we sure have had some fun. No, no, it's more than that. <laughs> oh, I'm hooked. I'm starting to forget what it feels like to be lonely. Oh, bad sign. Now, come on, <laughs> let's go shoot something. <laughs> There was no indication it was going to be dark or weird. And Mark Cherry, the creator of the show, came up to me and said, do you want to know about this character? And I said, sure, yeah, of course, you know, what is going on? He goes, well, he's going to end up being a psychopath stalker. And I thought, oh, all right, okay. And then that's when things got really, really interesting because then I started to kind of layer the desperation of now I, I, I know what it's like not to be lonely, all these sort of, all these clues that you want to, that the audience would hear and go, oh my, this is going to go very badly for George. And it and sure enough did. It was, it was funky to be hated on such a grand scale. But he's about to, he's, <laughs> he's about to bring in Mr. Hilltop for, to show the difference between um, reflexive movement and involuntary, uh, reflexive movement and involuntary movement. Mr. Hilltop is a shill. <laughs> Mr. Hilltop here, with whom I have never worked. Fantastic scene. Really, really funny. He came to the show, Gene Wilder was in my dressing room, and I said, well, that must have been weird. He said, yeah. And I said, how did you like it? And he, and I, he goes, I liked the dancing. That killed me. Steven Spielberg presents Back to the Future. Whoa, how do they do that? But Dr. Brown is about to change. Dr. Brown! Are you going to use the time machine? 
of a DeLorean? Yeah. You know, when I got that um, little email saying, how would you like to put yourself on tape for Doc Brown? It was like, oh, how do I, let me get started. And then I tried to kind of find things in my house that could sort of work. So I had a, a lampshade on my head and a bathrobe and was looking pretty crazy up in my, in my bedroom in, in L.A. I found this karaoke uh, vibe thing I had for like $1.99. I purchased the Talking Heads David Byrne song, uh, Once in a Lifetime, um, which I thought was like a really apropos song because I spent a lot of it going, you may find yourself in another part of the world. And that to me was, well, this is perfect. You want to find something that at least fits to some extent with the character and, and Once in a Lifetime was like, so I felt good about the tape. Our producer, Colin Ingram, still sort of threatens to, to drag it out at some party at some point, but I, I beg him not to. Release! Doc Brown is, is so multifaceted. Um, the idea that somebody who is, uh, can be 30 years older, can be a great friend and be a very positive influence and there's nothing creepy about their relationship. Those things that Chris Lloyd showed me, those boundaries were the perfect starting point for somebody on stage like me to, to try to uh, inhabit them and completely. There's something sort of fantastic about the immediacy of, of theater. There's something chemical that takes place in a, in a room with people that are on stage. Their love for the film and their love of what's happening immediately in front of them it informs us and the whole room gets lifted so high from it. So it's extraordinary. We managed to inhabit a world of an old-fashioned musical and all of the sort of wonderful comforting trappings of being in 1955 with great music, great dancing, and a very simple, beautiful love story. And it's, it's bookended or, or, or sprinkled throughout with an incredibly sophisticated technological show. I mean, these two musical genres of, of 85 and 55, both in dance, music, and, exp and, and that, those expressions, it, it's, an extra it's an extraordinary show and, it, and it, such a, I've never been as much of a fan of a show in all my years of working that I am of, of the one we're in and very proud of it. So I'm excited to share it with the world.